Hello everyone, in this video we're going to talk about how to install VirtualBox 7. We started our discussion in the introductory video, and now we're going to continue learning about Type 2 hypervisors, specifically Oracle's VirtualBox. So this is going to be a quick video on how to download VirtualBox and do a basic installation. In upcoming videos we're going to talk about how to configure VirtualBox and create some guest VMs. To be able to download and install VirtualBox, you'll need to visit www.virtualbox.org using your favorite web browser. Now, before you do install VirtualBox, there is a requirement to have Microsoft's Visual C++ Restributable package installed. You probably already have it installed, but if you don't, you'll need to visit Microsoft's website and download the appropriate version for your system. In this case, it's the, using the first link here which is the Visual Studio 2015, 2017, 2019, and 2022. If I scroll down, you'll notice that you have the downloadable links as shown here. If you're on an x86 or x64, or even in an ARM64 system, you can download uh, by clicking one of these links. It's already installed on this computer, so I'm going to go ahead and proceed. So I'll go ahead and download VirtualBox 7. And in this case, I am running Windows, so I'll pick the link for Windows Hosts. Notice that VirtualBox does run on other operating systems like Mac OS or even Linux. Once VirtualBox is downloaded, go ahead and run the setup. Alright, so let's go ahead and double click the VirtualBox executable and start the installation. I did expect user account control to pop up and just a quick review shows me that everything looks okay. This file is called Oracle, Oracle VM VirtualBox and I see that it has been signed by Oracle. So I do trust that this file is the legitimate file. I'm going to hit yes to continue. All right, so we're here at the setup wizard. We're going to hit next to continue. Notice that there are several options for you to be able to either include or exclude from the installation package. Most of these should be enabled. Although note on the last section here, VirtualBox with Python support. Unless you're considering to use Python scripting in conjunction with VirtualBox, there is no need to have this component installed. So I'm going to go ahead and make this feature unavailable. Next. You're being warned that the network interfaces will be reset. This is expected. I'm going to hit yes and click install to continue. Everything was looking good. The installation process has made change to your system. Notice that there was no errors or any other issues so we can go ahead and hit finish. VirtualBox has been successfully installed and we're now ready to continue the configuration. In the next video, we'll go ahead and go through some of the VirtualBox configuration settings. Then, we'll start to create some virtual guests. Hope you enjoyed this quick video on how to install VirtualBox 7. Please remember to like, subscribe, and comment below. And we hope to see you soon.